is a motivational speaker. He is a youth worker. He's an activist. I don't know if you guys are on Instagram, but if you're not, I'll definitely make sure that you do follow him there afterwards because he's very, very informative and entertaining as well. So without further ado, our very first keynote speaker of the evening, Chris Preddy, OBE. Come to the stage, sir. We may give another round of applause to everyone. Please make some noise. Make some noise. I'm going to try and sort out my watch right now. How you doing, guys? My name is Chris Preddy, OBE. I'm going to be telling you a little bit about my story and the reasons why I'm sitting here talking to you today. Like we already said, it's Black History Month. Don't lie. We need to talk about some issues. It needs to be addressed. Do you know, like, Black parents, I'm going to say to you right now off the cuff, you know what's there? Stop saying things that don't make no sense. You know, like, my mum used to be one of those parents that she used to say to me, stop crying before I give you something to cry about. <laughs> you hit me, you hit me, you hit me, mum, you hit me. I'm going to cry. That's, that's, that's the natural form. You, you get smacked, you cry. My mum, stop. Have you ever tried to stop crying? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We all grew up in the era when like, all of us right now, you know you, you, you used to go to your room and you would try and act it out in the sense of you'll close your doors and you try and wild out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run away. You ain't running nowhere. You ain't running nowhere. I'm packing, man. I'm packing. I said, I've had enough of this. I've had enough, man. I've been this many more. You know the ones when you cry yourself to sleep? <laughs> that means your soul's hurt. It's not a joke. It's real. Parents don't understand. Go to your bed. We're going to run away. You're not running away. Childline came out. I thought I was bad. I was like, I'm calling Childline. I've had enough of this. My mom was like, call them. I was like, hello? How can I help you? Parent, like I'm not gonna lie to you, I got GCSE that was great. Don't judge me. I got G because I was a genius. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. I got an F because I thought I was fantastic. Shut up. I got a U because I thought I was unique. Come on up there. Stop laughing because my mom didn't think it was unique. My mom didn't, my mom didn't like it. My mom didn't like it. My mom said, "Yo, I sent you to school to learn." Channel Five first came out. Don't laugh. We was doing. Like, oh my God, Channel Five. <laughs> There was four channels! We was losing our mind! You remember that girl that used to come on the TV? Boo! It means go to bed. There's no 24 hour TV. You remember Teletext was that ain't it? Remember? You had to get the goals. Teletext was the thing. Don't laugh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, my mom's a Christian woman in the sense of like, she's that type of woman, she prays for everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I fell into that ditch, my mom would pray to Jesus to get me out of the ditch. <laughs> Jesus, get my son out of the ditch. <laughs> mom, maybe just put your hand in and help me. <laughs> Jesus is busy. He's busy, mom. Don't do that. Just help me, mom. Just help. Stop calling for Jesus. Just leave him alone for a second. So I went to university and I decided to change my life around. But we've got to remember, I come from the road. My brother lost his life for knife or gun crime. I decided to go to university. 16, I said to him, I'm gonna change my life. I got to 18, university, I'm gonna start it. But I didn't know what university was. They said it was performing arts. I didn't know what performing arts was. But I had to change my life around, guys. And it was one of those things where I started to say to myself, I'm gonna change my life around. I decided to go into schools, colleges, youth clubs, and prisons, and try and help young people out and say, do you know what, there's another way. There's another way to this life that we fought that you have to be gang. I thought you had to be the man in the house. My dad was never around. I thought you had to be the man in the house. But no one there told you, do you know what? You don't need to be the man in the house. You actually need to make sure that you've got a house. Imagine that. <laughs> you need to be the man. I'm the man cuz, I'm the man cuz. But do you own it? Not really. The government. Well, hear what I'm saying? I'm ganging though, ain't I'm ganging. I'm making sure that we see our black history and we embrace our black history. I'm half Jamaican, half solution. Don't get it twisted, I'm British. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> my mum says to me all the time, Oh, my Jamaican solution. I'm like, I like Savaloy and chips, mum. Don't do that. <laughs> I like pie. Don't toad in the hole. You don't like you know stuff. I like it. Don't do that. We all like it. Jackie Potato, Mrs. She makes a good one. Shut up. Oh, 
I do like my curry girl. Don't, yeah, I do like it. I do like it. But it's just want you guys to celebrate a little bit of who we are and why we're standing here today. And I thank you guys because I'm an activist for what is right and what is wrong. When I see wrong, wrong is wrong, right is right. And everybody here today can make a difference. That's what my slogan is, mad. Make a difference. It doesn't matter what race, what quality, what color, whoever you are, stand up. If you see something is wrong, it's wrong. If you see something is right, it's right. Because I'm fast right now. Liz, I shouldn't talk about it. Six weeks, she flopped. She flopped, she flopped. Quasi, he got sacked on black, he got sacked on black history. We're trying to make history. He got sacked on Black History. Quasi. And did you not see the video that's been going on in the Bob Marley? No woman, no cry. Quasi, don't sing that song, fam. It's over for you. We want to make something different. And a lot of people have been saying to me, Chris, why don't you step up? Why don't you do it? And I will. I will. I will. Because they're not, they're not talking the truth. We just need to tell the truth, that's all it is. In our society, we don't tell the truth. When we've been going through a lot of things, the government lied to us. If we just told the truth, listen, fam, you're not gonna have electricity for six weeks, it's peak. It's peak in the dunya. We know, we're gonna get the candles out. We're like, yeah, it's peak. Get the candles out, it's peak. White people are like, what does that mean? What do you mean I'm not gonna have electricity? What does that mean? No, it means it's, it's, it's detrimental. So I will know how to talk and how to say guys. We've gone through a hard time and it's a beautiful thing to see every single one of you faces. Just to be like, you know what, we're here. And we know what we stand for, we know what is great. Don't listen to the news, it's a bit fake. They keep telling me they're gonna ban me on TikTok. They ban me on TikTok, you know what? They, they told me I'm harassment. The ones there gets the, the rights. Freedom of speech! All I said is Boris don't need to come back. He doesn't. <laughs> They had a cheek to say to us, don't look at the lies. What do you mean? He lied. They were doing some corruption. Like, I literally stay at home. You know what I said? I said to my nan, elbow from a distance, man. Elbow from a distance. Boris was, you see Boris in that party. <laughs> Boris was getting it, he was getting all down. Don't do that, don't laugh, it's not funny. Because he was, part, he was partying. And like I said to us guys, like this is a time now when we've got to realize that we are the people. When we talk about that 1%, they are the 1%. When we talk about the tax, there is a tax. Talk about what's going on in the room right now. Talk about the harmony. Talk about the people that really, really matter. We are the ones that matter. Every single day we get up, we work, and we make sure that we provide. We make sure that we make sure there's a difference. We make sure every single day that we get up, we're gonna change something. So if I'm gonna leave you with anything today, guys, please, when you go out here today, every day, just make a difference. So one, two, three, say mad, and let's make a difference. One, two, three, mad! mad. One, two, three, mad! Make a difference. Myself is pretty.